I don't do a lot of videos like this, but I saw this clip as I was going through YouTube today and I, I had to do a reaction to it. I wanna really talk about it, really analyze it after it's done uh, because it's important to analyze some of these things. Let's hop into this clip and if you haven't seen this yet, please watch this. It's a minute and 53 seconds of your life and uh, I, I, think it, I think it will do some good at the end if you watch it because it definitely did me some good. Let's get into it. What's your source of belief in situations like this when the engineering problem is so difficult? There's a lot of experts many of whom you admire who have failed in the past. Yes. And um, a lot of people, you know, the, a lot of experts, maybe journalists, all the kind of, you know, the public in general have a lot of doubt about whether it's possible. And you yourself know that uh, even if it's a non-null set, non-empty set of success, it's still unlikely or very difficult. Like, where do you go to both personally um, intellectually as an engineer, as a team, like for source of strength needed to sort of persevere through this and to uh, keep going with the project, take it to completion. A source of strength. Hmm. I, I just really not how I think about things. Um, I mean, for me, it's simply this, this is something that is important to get done. Um, and we, we should just keep doing it, um, or die trying. And I, I don't need a source of strength. So quitting is not even like, um, that's not, it's not in my nature. Okay. And I, I don't care about optimism or pessimism. Fuck that. We're going to get it done. Okay, why am I so inspired right now, randomly out of the blue? I was like, I gotta just make a video about this. I gotta get my thoughts out this to the world. I really wanna talk about this. A couple of reasons for this. We all have different things in our life that we're trying to strive for. We're all trying to climb a different mountain in our own lives. I am trying to climb my own mountain because I'm trying to build my startup. And there's a lot of obstacles every day. There's a lot of different things that I have to encounter to try to get on the other side of that, of that mountain and ultimately conquer it. There are certain people that exist in the world that have done things that defy the sort of odds not only of, of 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 success because it's very highly unlikely that they reach that success and then they do it and they defy those odds but it also puts into perspective the missions and goals that you have it is not a bad thing to say that some people are aiming a little bit more higher than you may be aiming for this guy wants to colonize mars this guy wants to transform the entire world's energy production to be more green renewable and clean and not you know destroy the planet with oil and natural gases and when someone has that type of a mission and they are unrelentless to achieve that type of a mission, I think it is important for anyone who is mildly ambitious, who has somewhat of an idea about what they think they want to do with their life that could be monumental enough to put a little bit of a dent in the universe, to really understand the mentality and mindset. And I don't mean that from a cliche perspective because I, I hate the cliche motivational stuff. That's not what I'm trying to get at here. What I'm trying to get at is really dissecting what that person thinks and believes about the process of trying to climb a mountain, of trying to conquer a goal, and then try to see what uh, ways you can adapt those mindsets within yourself, especially if your goals are probably not as big objectively as colonizing Mars or transforming the entire world's automotive industry, which is something that Elon Musk has done. There was a unique thing that happened in that clip. Lex Friedman, a great podcaster, will leave the video in the description if you want to check out his podcast basically asked him, how do you not quit? When things get rough, how do you deal with what's going on? And for anyone who's into stocks, investing in finance, which is what this channel is about, that's something to think about when you're investing in a company because you know I'm invested in a pretty big, uh, I have a pretty big position in a company that's down like 30% and I'm down $10,000, right? And now I'm not trying to compare being down money to like the sort of obstacles that Elon Musk face, uh, faces, but it's important to recognize that adversity is inevitable. And the question becomes when that adversity uh, when that adversity encounters you, how do you deal with it? And most people, objectively speaking, quit because it's a hard thing to deal with that adversity and the people that don't quit end up winning. Winners win and quitters quit because to get through that adversity, you inevitably have to not quit and keep going on with the process. So this question is so profound because the question you're asking someone who has literally never quit, what happens when you feel like quitting? And I think that's why this question from Lex as an interviewer was just a great question because on the surface, you might think, oh, this is just a basic question. All he's doing is asking him, like, what is your mentality for success? But it's deeper than that. You're asking someone who 
had to launch four rockets and was on the verge of bankruptcy before the, the fifth one, or the, I think three rockets, and the fourth one finally worked for his space company to not go out of business. You're talking about someone in 2008 who had to take all of the money they had made from PayPal. They could have literally just went on a beach and sat down for the rest of their life. They had $40, $50 million. They had to put everything into saving his two companies. And eventually, because of the economic downturn in 2008 and the recession, had to make a decision on which company would you save? Which child do you save? And somehow found a way to save both of those companies and are now some of the most meaningful and valuable companies from a financial perspective and an impact perspective today. You're asking that person, what do you do when things get rough? What do you do when you want to quit? And Elon's response is really interesting. He says that I don't think of it like that. I don't think of it as a source of strength. I don't think of it as being optimistic towards something or pessimistic, right? Pessimism is just that idea that you have a mentality that things aren't going to work out. Optimism is the mentality that even though things are bad, you're still, you're still hopeful that things will work out. And it's just interesting to see his mentality, which is that none of those traditional paradigms by which people think about motivation and success and happiness in life and, 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 and getting through the adversity apply to him. To him, it's very simple. It's something needs to get done, so we're going to get it done. And as simple as that sounds, when you're hearing it from someone who has actually incorporated that ad advice, uh, that philosophy, basically throughout everything that they've done in their life, which is that it's going to get done, so it has to get done, you start to have this natural sense of hope and motivation in some of the brave people in humanity that truly recognize that when something has to get done, it is not a question of finding motivation, right? Like if you are overweight and you need to lose weight, you, the fact that you, you may become obese and eventually have heart disease should not be the motivation for losing weight. The motivation should be, it has to get done. Like it's not, it's, it's not even a question of life or death. It's a question of this must happen or else nothing else matters or, or else there is nothing to care about. And for Elon, with a car company, with a space rocket company, with the future of Earth, at least from his perspective, that needs some some level of saving, it's a question of how do we do this and get me the best tools and people and engineers and talent to get this done because it's going to get done. And to share a little personal story from my perspective, you know, my startup had a little bit of a hiccup back in February and it puts it in so much perspective com compared to what Elon goes through with these companies where we had a co-founder or sorry, we, we had recruited some co-founder. Uh, he was, he was the third co-founder who's going to be a senior engineer and he just ghosted us for a month. Like he just didn't respond for like a, a month. And, uh, me and my CTO, we had to make a decision of just like, how do we move forward? Cause we had two, we had given ourselves a deadline that we were going to launch in April. It was like end of January of 2021. And we were like, we got to figure it out. And you know, in, at that moment, I kind of had the same mentality that Elon has. I didn't cry about it. I didn't get scared. I wasn't like, oh my God, my startup's going to fail. I was just like, all right, we got to find talent. And I, I spent a good week, 18 hours a day recruiting, and I found someone that could ultimately help us get the job done, and we ended up launching by April. So the, the, the sort of a thing here is that when you know something has to get done, you go and you try to get it done. No matter what happens, there is not a necessity to be motivated by something. There's no need for optimism. And, you know, there are times in my life as things get harder where I use my parents as a motivation and um, some of the problems in their relationship as a motivation. It's like, you know, I need salvation from some of the crazy stuff that's happened in my past. And that's why I'm going to focus on my startup. And that can be a good way to think about it. But when you see someone like Elon saying, you don't need that, you just need to go get it done. It, it sort of shifts your entire perspective. It's like, I don't need this extrinsic or intrinsic motivation to, to go get something done. If I know I want to get something done, I have made that definitive decision rooted and guided within the conviction that I have to go get something done, then I'm going to go get it done. And nothing is going to stop me or get in my way of getting it done. Because if I need to get it done, it's going to get done. And when there's people out there that have talked the talk and walked the walk based upon what they've said to go get that thing done you start to get a lot more optimistic and hopeful that you as an individual can also strive to one day get things done for no other reason other than the fact that they need to get done.